We have a living legend in the studio right yeah. now. Yeah. A living legend. God willing. Flesh of flesh and <laughs> flesh of flesh and bone. <laughs> flesh and bone of bone thugs in studio. What's yeah, up, Flesh? Man, what's going on, y'all? Thanks How you man, doing? Man, I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Do you smashing. look at yourself like a living legend? Because you are a living legend to a lot of people. Um, I look at myself as a, a as an ambitious, um, um, hungry. When I mean by hungry, I mean by um, a, a thirst for life, a thirst for yes. growth, a, a, a thirst for uh, human advance, a, a thirst for trying new stuff, new inventions, like uh, stuff like that. That's a good answer. So in other words, an artist, maybe. Yes, yes. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes. But that's awesome. I mean, you, yes. but do you realize, like, you were signed to, um, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you realize it, Easy E's Record. <laughs> most certainly, most Record certainly. company right, in, not, in 1993. Yes, indeed. Right? right so right, that's not. 22 years ago. And I, I did the ago. math prior to the show. That's okay. all I know. All right, yes, indeed. Did you realize 22 years ago that people would still be singing your songs to this day? That you would still be packing out concert venues to this day. Did you even think about that 22 years ago? Absolutely not. 22 years ago, I was worried about how many guns I'm polishing up every night before I go to bed and everything. Yeah. It was wild. I was yeah. 18, 19 years old. When I met Eric Wright, I was 18 years old. I was wild as the Tasmanian devil in so many ways and everything. And uh, it never dawned on us that we were actually doing something that was going to be around and have such an impact on so many people's lives, not just in America, but everywhere. So, no, it never, um, I was too busy, you know, running wild and everything. But now, almost 10 years after prison, post-prison for me, everything, now I'm back and everything. And it's like the career has even blossomed to even higher heights, even right now. Yeah. Right now, we're cur- currently unsigned. Of course, we started off in the game with Ruthless Records. Um, it moved over, you know, we did some... Uh, Stuff with Relativity Records that was once around, and uh, uh, did my first solo um, joint with Def Jam, and then uh, when I got locked up, the guy signed with uh, Interscope, and then from Interscope and went to Warner Brothers, and right now we're currently getting ready to try to do some single deals with maybe one or one of those guys, and uh, um, and um, and get signed again in order to uh, kick down the door of more Grammy nominations and award nominations and stuff of that nature. We're coming up on the dawn of our 25th year anniversary. So wow. it's very, very good. Congratulations. Crucial. But isn't independent the way to go now? Isn't that's most what people I was doing independent? Say. Well, yeah, that's what you think. You feel what I'm saying? Because yeah. no one on the top Billboard 100 is independent. Think about it. That's true. No one is being nominated for Grammy Awards that are independent. Think mm-hmm. about it. You can yeah. make a lot of money. You can make quite a bit. If you have a, a, a nice little uh, a, a structure, a nice team, you know, full-fledged top in-house team and everybody, you know, just add a couple of uh, PR, uh, a, PRs, uh, A&Rs, or whatever the case may be. Sure. And in-house and stuff of that nature. You can uh, benefit off the residuals and uh, uh, money that can, can, can come from um, being an independent artist. That's no question. However, if you want to go to another height, call it mainstream, call it uh, 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 traditional radio, uh, and things of that nature. You have to apply all machines in yeah. order to be able to do stuff like be rock and roll, Rolling Stones, right. uh, uh, Double XLs, and uh, 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 even your local news channels and stuff of that nature, or to even be looked at to be nominated for a Grammy. I'm about I'm about winning another Grammy. Mm. How Bone many Grammys? Dozen Harmony will win another Grammy. How many Grammys did you guys win? Um, we've won two Grammys in our career, wow. nominated for many. So, wow. Yeah. And almost everything you produced was a hit, though, too. Everything we produced is a hit, sir. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. not, 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 I mean, everything. Not I'm sorry. Not, 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 not anything cocky. That's not to say anything cocky. We're the most sure. humble. You can, you know, we deal with our fans, you know, hand in hand, and we talk to our fans. We get up close and personal. We find out what's going on in their lives and stuff of that nature. Find out, and they let us know how much and where we influenced, helping help bring them up to one degree or the other. So, um, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's yeah. a beautiful thing. It's, it's it's like it's a huge weight to carry. I wouldn't wish this on nobody. Trust me. It's it's cool. They want to become famous and everything, but it's a whole. Heap it's a hard of, life. It's a hard life. Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to the beginning. Is mm-hmm. it true? That Bone Thugs and Harmony, the original name was Band Aid Boys. Yes, that's true. Is it really? I used to wear my Band Aid right here on the top. Is that when? My... Is that where Nelly got it? That's when. Uh, well, it, it, <laughs> it stunned us. It, it stunned us. It stunned us that Nelly would actually do that. It was like, wow, just like he brought back the Band Aid Boy uh, uh, 
uh, concept and everything. See, I always thought you just had like a, like a ward or something. It wouldn't go away. Yeah, just embarrassed of it. <laughs> that's you should owe y'all like a lot of money I'm sure, now. <laughs> I'm sure it started off that way. I'm sure it started off as 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 something like that. He had to hide it. It's okay. <laughs> right. We all oh get the pimple. Sure. Wow. We all get right. the pimple in black He was young. He was like 18, 19, you know, yeah. when he first started yeah. out. Why yeah. embarrassed? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you yeah. look it up. You don't really know where the name Bone Thugs and Harmony comes from. Mm-hmm. There's not a whole lot of uh, right. story about that. Well, the name Bone Thugs and Harmony, of course, Band-Aid Boys, you know, I, I, when I was a Band-Aid Boy, my name was B.D. Rock, B-E-A-T-E-R-O-C-K, B.D. Yeah. E. Rock, turned yeah. into flesh in bone, get it? So it was Gotcha, like, okay. Then, as a teenager, as an itty-bitty, was, uh, you know, beatboxing and, of course, rapping and stuff like that, and then... Um, Around junior high, um, going into high school, it turned into Bone Enterprise. It's just Bone Enterprise, like, you know, welcome aboard the Enterprise, Bone Enterprise. Right. Um, and then it morphed again. It transformed again into when we met Easy e By the time we got out there, we was, uh, uh, we was, by the time we met E, we were still Bone Enterprise. And he came up with the ideas, and she was like, uh, 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 well, yes, yeah, she was like, y'all should be called Bone Thugs. Bone Thugs in Harmony. He was like, you know, one of us shouted out Bone Thugs in Harmony, and that's easy, easy help create that. It was, it was great. That is so awesome. Now, how was Easy? I mean, okay, so new, I would say interest mm-hmm. is going into Easy right now because of the movie Straight Out Compton. As it should. And uh, people didn't rec- recognize, at least this generation of people didn't recognize how, how much of a genius he was. He was an amazing um, marketing genius. He was amazing when it comes to came down to being able to create exposure. Yeah. He was the mastermind of that. You can look at our first album, a cover, Easy took all of the pictures of that. He that was he was the man behind the camera for all of the photos that you see Bone in in wow. um, 1993 and 1994, 1995. Easy was the guy. He was with the camera. He was doing it all, in-house yeah. and everything. He was like, he pushed the line and everything. And uh, always going to the radio stations, pushing up on the A and R's and the DJs and stuff of that nature. He, he truly him. believed in his artist. He truly did believe in his artist and everything. And when he met Bone Thugs and Harmony, oh my God, you should have saw his eyes lit up when he first saw us rap. It was like it was like this is like the first thing out of his mouth. He couldn't even say that it was hot. Right. First thing he said was, "What's the plan? Right. What y'all want to do?" What y'all, what y'all got he, already, he was already sold. He was already he was sold. Already sold. Yeah, he's he, like, he, like, he yeah, assumed the sale. He ready, it, it, he's ready to get you guys on the road. Ready, he was ready to get us on the road. That's <laughs> yeah. exactly what he did. Wow. And that's what real businessmen do. They don't beat around the bush because we did. Run, we ran into a lot of people that was like, uh, 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 yeah, y'all hot, y'all hot, but you know, right? Mm-hmm. But he was, he was, he was, he was about a, the first was, one that believed in you. Yes. What can we do with you? Yes, indeed. He and did. And now, it. you know, all these rumors are coming out now. Yes. All these years later, that uh, you know, Shook Knight mm-hmm. is the one who killed Easy. Gave him, gave him the HIV well, and a drink or so. What do, what do you think about this whole thing? Well, you know, speculate, speculate, man. It's so much. You know, God knows best. Right. So we can say this and we can say that Shook Knight was stupid enough to admit <laughs> on national TV that right. he's had something to do with it. But you know what? Still, at the same time. You never know. You right. know what I'm saying? And, you know, only Eric Wright and God and God knows whether or not he was d- dealing with something else prior or if he knew or whatever the case may be because it's, you know, so many different stories out there. It's just like this, you can speculate, speculate. But like I say, God knows best. And uh, um, 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 for Suge, I think Suge was uh, doing some type of um, publicity stunt when he when he did that. It was awful. It made him look ugly. It was a tyrant anyway. You know, Suge Knight was a tyrant anyway. And, um, you know, really, really uh, was out of control with respects that he was able to um, head up one of the greatest hip hop um, 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 companies uh, that ever existed. And it, 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 it drove him crazy. I feel bad for the man. You know what I'm saying? He was unable to maintain. It just went crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, um, he admitted that, and it kind of like throws extra speculation in what right. actually what the truth actually is. Especially with that I movie. Now, the guy that played the movie, he looked like first off, he didn't look anything black. He looked like it was an Arab dude <laughs> that played Trick Knight. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but yeah, I mean, the way they portrayed him in that movie, yeah, really makes you think that maybe he had something to do with you know Tupac and everything. Like I it really, still, it, yes. Oh, no, I, was saying, no. I still haven't seen it, and like this is all my childhood right here. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. I'm super yeah. in love with everybody. By the way, uh, yeah. Easy E's dies, and Do- Dr. Dre well, does. I'm, I don't want to spoil yeah, it for you. Yeah. 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 I, don't I don't have, have, no, have seen it, but see is it My brother thought, he said it was incredible. No, I was going to say, is it, it is true incredible. to the story? The movie written, it was, the okay, I'm not going to spoil it for everybody out there that enjoyed the movie. It was right. straight, it's great, 
a great effing movie. <laughs> right. You went to the <laughs> movie you. theater with your popcorn, and your hot dog, and your Sprite, and right. it was a great movie. <laughs> However, no, it was not true to the story. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Reason the movie. Why, so, the, here's, here's why it was not true to the story. Because the last two years of Easy es life, okay, we met Easy e in 1993 around September or something like that. And um, when he passed, it was 1995, uh, 19, so... That last two years of his life, Easy E was smoking hot on top of it. Even though he was sick, it was like a weird contrast because he was sick, but he was happy as hell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He had Bone Thugs and Harmony. Doing what he yeah. loved. He was rich. He had money. <laughs> These guys were making him money. And he was banging and bragging because right. could nobody <laughs> BMB. F, could nobody <laughs> F with Bone Thugs and Harmony. Not right. nobody at Death Row, Snoop, Dre, Cube, Yellow. I don't care who they are. Yep. DOC could none of them fade Bone Thugs and Harmony and still can't nobody fade Bone Thugs and Harmony. Man. You know what? Yeah. Come see All me. Right. <laughs> Come see now, me. DOC is going to be in here in a couple of months. Let and, him, and, that's and my gonna, homie. D- he's, he's a great guy. DOC is one of the artists that I tailored myself behind. Yeah. I'm, 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 where do I get my inspiration from? DOC is one of them. Yeah. DOC is hot, but yeah. still. <laughs> he couldn't touch you guys. Eazy-E was the man, and he was doing his thing, and he was trying to get the support of everybody because right. here he had this new group that done did something new. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. was kicking fast rap and everything, but Bone Thugs and Harmony came around and said, we'll spit some fastness, fast rap on you, but then when we all start kicking them harmonies, you didn't know what to think. Like, yeah. wow. Yeah. It yeah. was a new style. Yeah. It was a new invention. It was innovative. Yeah. Easy e invested in that, and he did that. So he was on top of the world, man. Would it be and fair? And they didn't show that. Would it be a fair comparison to say that Easy was more like a Steve Jobs of that industry? Yes, he was. He was more like a Steve Job of the yeah. industry where he was able to be the guy that fast paced everything as far as hip hop because he did it with NWA. And then by a miracle, he turned around and did it again with Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. I, who, who is this guy? Yeah. For real. It's a hit machine. Yes. It's hit like machines. Hits, 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 hits. Super group NWA, super mega group Bone Thugs and Harmony. Can't yeah. take away from him. So, yeah. yes, he was a very happy, he was. He was like grinding so tough, and this was why he was heartbroken when he was in there in that hospital, or whatever, because he yeah. had other ideas he was trying to implement with respect to making sure this group, Bone Thugs and Harmony, kicked down the doors and do what they were supposed to do. And by God, we did that. Came out triple platinum. Yeah. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Within a week, you feel what I'm saying? Do y'all remember, you know. remember when the uh, Crossroads video came out, though? No, I never I, saw that. I still kidding. have a memory of that. I, I <laughs> what? Do. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was my that was my like I, okay moment like yes. So so, so you know, I still the, remember that. Yeah, and and even in even that record, Crossroads came out on uh, East nineteen ninety nine Eternal, and uh, Easy was still here before, you know, Eternal came out um, in nineteen ninety five. That's yeah. when Easy passed. Yeah, you did what I'm saying. That mega success. It was like oh man, it was it, you know, to have a song, Bone Thugs and Harmony has been able to tap in tap into something. It's called motivation. It's called inspiration you see what i'm saying yeah the world can't get enough of it and you wherever that motivation and inspiration come from you're going to draw you're going to you know draw into that and this is what bone thugs and harmony did we reminded people that of course you deal with loved ones that have departed before you right bone thugs and harmony came along and reminded you of this like everybody always shy shy away from death why do you want to shy away from death you ride past the gravesite every day. You yep. ride past the graveyard every day. Everybody's ignoring it and everything. Okay, but when you hear the song Crossroads, yes, we're, we're going to meet you at the crossroads. Yeah. This is a fact. So we tapped into that as a reminder to put people on because so many, everybody can relate. We make, we create and make music that all human souls, no matter what your creed or color, age, whatever the case may be, we create music that all people can inspire. When you're on that stage and you look out at your crowd, mm-hmm. Is it a mixed crowd? It's got to be, bag right? Bag of M&M's, man. Bag, yeah. It's a bag of Skittles. <laughs> and then that, what is that, how does that make you feel, though, as an artist mm-hmm. that's trying to portray what they feel back mm-hmm. 22 years ago and, and today, uh-huh. and you look back at it and you're like, not only is this touching people that I grew up and yes. was around, it's mm-hmm. touching people mm-hmm. in totally different walks of life. Yes. Inspirational mu- music is timeless. Look at Marvin Gaye. Look at Michael Jackson. Yeah. Look at the, look at the, no, no, all of these greats. Um, um, inspirational stuff like that don't mean we're not going to make music about kicking butt. Right. Ass, you yeah. See what I'm saying. Yeah. If we a, a freestyle and doing what we do, of course we're gonna talk about the drinks, the ecstasies, the pills, the, the weed, and stuff of that nature, and all that. Yes, we're gonna do that. But the element of innovation and motivation and inspiration 
has to be there. You feel what I'm saying? And yeah. uh, it, it transcends time. It's timeless. So um, we're very fortunate. We're the lucky ones. We're some of the lucky ones. And people ask me all the time, well, how do you, how do, you do this? What's the key? What do you do? And uh, what's the drive? And what's the motivation and everything? And then it's really hard to answer that question. Yeah. Yeah. And that song, Crossroads, that stands mm-hmm. out a lot to me because mm-hmm. it's so, it, it's, you know, it must, I, what I, I really think to be part of the 90s was such a blessing, you know, because mm-hmm. I feel like the music then was so on top of the world. Yeah. How do you feel about music today? Yeah. Well, what about the rap industry today? Well, well, sometimes you got to be able to, um, you know, there's there's a, a, a lot of things going on in the world today, guys. You got to be able to pay attention and be cognizant and be aware enough to see what's going on. First of all, a lot of music is stripped of all. Um, um, uh, it's just like. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's like um, it's just a moral issue. You dig what I'm saying? It's a, a, a and and it's like it's a push to make people feel more as if uh, oh, to hell with responsibility. It's just ah, oh, free, 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 free. It's like ah, oh, just sleep all day, with drink all day, f all day, and all. No, it's not about that. <laughs> that's what you we know miss. What I'm saying? That's what we miss with the '90s because I feel like. Like I grew up on NWA and Mac Ten, mm-hmm. Ice Cube. Right. As you like, can tell, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't even, don't even. That's funny. Oh, yeah. My hip hop right. side will come out. Really. Right. No, but um, and and what I like back then is always like some type of message, like Public Enemy, like mm-hmm. everything was like political and yeah. some type yeah, of movement. And mm-hmm. now. I don't really see that much. And you know, that is on. very true because even TLC was doing that. Like yeah. all their songs had a meaning behind mm-hmm. it. And speaking of TLC, it's so cool to see so many of the people of the 90s coming back. Yeah. So thank God yeah. you are still around because I feel yeah. like music today is kind of soulless. Thank you, brother. Thank and you. it makes me happy. Like <laughs> yeah. Missy Elliott's back. Thank you, and Jesus. It, yeah. And yes, it's, it's, it's like you, you can't take the soul out of music. This is like no matter what your path is, your walk of life, your creative path, it has to have that spirit of, uh, of, 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 of the message, a message because we each one teach one we have children in this world for crying out loud yeah even lessons should be drawn from the music or whatever when the sculptures and whatever the, the portrait the painting and everything right. it should be a lesson it should be a message in that mm-hmm. not how much of a line of cocaine you can snort yeah i don't want my ch- you know i don't want my you know uh, the, that's okay to each his own but still with the difference between today's hip-hop and uh the 90s hip-hop was yeah it was more um, um, the, uh, the artists were more uh, uh, attentive uh, and, and cognizant of uh, uh, creating the message. And then, uh, to me, you're not a real artist unless you can take a message and be create lyrically creative and putting the message. Even if you're talking about something gangster, don't twist it. The, the bone thugs are still gangster. We'll crack you upside your head. <laughs> we're, trying to, we're trying to teach the world something here. We got babies out here, man. We're trying to teach them something. We're trying to teach them how to be independent, strong, and responsible, and moral individuals, okay? And how to be tough and kick butt at the same time. You dig what I'm saying? Don't take away nothing. But still, if your music is watered down, washed down, and all you can talk about is how the size of your diamond, you need to get out of the way and let somebody else in come up, come in Thank that you. really got something to say. Get it in. So wait a minute. Are you saying Drake's hotline bling is you know not saying anything? I mean, what, what's I mean, going on here? You know, Drake, like Drake. Drake is from Canada. He don't count. Now, okay, all right. We'll give Drake a, a pass. <laughs> no, nah, but I love Drake though. He tips his hat to Bone Thugs. I'm not respect. See, this is one of the another thing that's kind of like ironic and funny to me because a lot of these youngsters the Kendrick Mars the Drake Lil Wayne's all of the hot rappers love Bone Thugs and Harmony yeah, yeah, yeah. Every you got to them, especially every, every in the 90s you have to they praise Bone Thugs you're and the Harmony. godfathers it's like, yeah it's, it's like it's like like Bone this Bone that Bone this I love if Wayne I'm trying to see how many hot lines Lil Wayne can put Bone Thugs in. <laughs> yeah. Every time Lil Wayne turn around he say something dope about uh, Bone Thugs and this that the others Dude, it's hot. I love him. Yeah. Embrace him. They're my brothers and everything. And it's only a few. It's only... Now, it's, it's, just, it's just like there are some artists out there. I say they rape in the game because they really ain't got nothing to say. Right. And that's just the way it is. Now, who I'm is not, that? Well, Drop some names here. I'm not going to draw no names. <laughs> well, we, we see the Macklemore. memes. You see the memes on, on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You've seen the yeah. memes where yeah. you see li- lyrics of today and lyrics yeah. of like back then. How Isn't people crazy? actually gave... Right. Gave something, you know. They, they yeah. did. This is like that's why you know that's why I say that you can't take away from great great music. It's timeless, you right? Know, especially the Amen ones that, that. had is the ones that were able to be brave enough to say, you know, I want to talk about a subject that people don't want to talk about, and you put it out there, and it's like, bam! All of a sudden, you got a hit. 
you know, so, but yeah, and, um, some, but unfortunately you do have to hear now going tomorrow type situations because of the path that they choose. It's all on choice. Right. I went to my Facebook and I told everybody we we're going to be interviewing. And they're like, oh my God, you got to ask them, how was it working with Mariah Carey? <laughs> A lot of people want to know in the breakdown That's from song. that community. Yeah. Right. Um, my community wants to that? know, Mariah, how does it? <laughs> Mariah, Mariah Carey, another artist that has admitted and shared her experience with, with, uh, 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 her influence of uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony and the style of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Very, very beautiful spirited individual. Beautiful woman, in fact. And uh, uh, highly creative, highly talented. And uh, and I pray to God that she continues down her um, God-given path of creating great music. She's a great individual. She and that was, was great. a good song, too. She she rolled out the red carpet for us. Me and my brothers did tend to get a little bit, you know, hillbillyish drunk up in there. That <laughs> made everybody nervous, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, you know, working with her was a pleasure and, and a privilege and an honor and everything. And, um, and uh, like, yeah, we did get kind of crazy. You know, they invited out. They She actually flew us on a private jet. We was G6'd out. All right. All the way out there, man. It was it, freaking amazing, man. Now, you guys are the only people. Mm-hmm. That have worked with Tupac, mm. Mm. Biggie Smalls, yeah. Easy E, mm-hmm. and Big Pun yeah. while they were still alive. How yes, funny! I that was my next love, question. Though. How weird! Yeah. Isn't that, that so crazy? Weird. I was yeah. about to ask you about yeah. that. That's so weird. Make us, love. make us, make us feel like kind of like you know, it's so so. It is. It's like. Well, I can do a uh, Biggie Smalls impression. You want to hear it? Let me hear it. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. When I was dead broke, man, I couldn't picture this. That's good. That's good. That's did good. it sound like I was, yeah. he was right here? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you, Thank you. you. Out. you it's a legend. Just yeah. tell me that I did a great job yeah, at that. You Thank you. I appreciate him, that. You just brought him back in the booth and everything. You, <laughs> yeah. did. you did. Wow. It's amazing, man. It makes, it makes uh, see, Bone Thugs and Harmony, one of the things we do express is the fact that we're the only group um, alive that has uh, uh, so many different accolades. One of the accolades is that we have worked with Biggie, Easy, Tupac, Big Pun, um, and um, and uh, it's a great situation because we know that as we move into the future and everything. Of course, Bone Thugs and Harmony is still looking good. We're still we're still able. We're, we're healthy. We're able to you know we're still as highly creative today as we were back then. And we try. We still have our eyes set on being able to work with more greats that are out here. Like Jay Z is one of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, I don't think we did anything with Fifty stuff like that. Um, 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 he needs um, some money too. I, I, yeah. I, I, I jump on no, one of your tracks no, too. Oh, they, <laughs> oh, no, no, them dudes don't need no money, man. Them dudes is doing very, very. Oh, well. Jay Z. Very proud of them. Yeah. Don't even uh, who's somebody out now, like a current artist mm-hmm. that you would want to work with. It all depends because you know, you know, because you never know how or what ways we can influence and help anybody and any individual. I Whose career are you watching though? Like a young guy or a young girl, whatever it is. Whose career are you kind of eyeing to see what they do? Who, who's got your interest right now? Well, well, I'm, I really, I'm really not gonna say. I really, okay. I'm, I'm really not gonna say because you know you can't take away. You never know when you know some of these guys are gonna create something that's really, really groundbreaking yeah so 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 i'm gonna leave that up in the air and i just tip my hats off it takes a lot of courage and a lot of guts for anybody it's really you know whatever part of the game they contribute to it takes still takes a lot of guts and a lot of courage to say you know what i'm gonna get on this microphone and i'm gonna write my i'm gonna write my ideas down and i'm gonna get out there and i'm gonna express myself it takes a lot of courage to do that because you you're stripping yourself down. Yeah. This is like who I am right here. Right. So so who's to say somewhere down the line of what type of epiphanies they may have to be inspired to do this or that and mm-hmm. other. You're supposed to be doing some type of good, greatness, whatever, to, to, to some type of degree. Mm-hmm. So we'll leave that at that. And then hopefully these guys understand that you picking up a banner, you're picking up, you're like a beacon of light. And you got to be able to express yourself. And like I say, each one teach one. At some point, you got to be some type, you got to be able to do some type of good with what you're doing, no matter what you're doing. Even if it's rapping, if it's producing, if it's producing radio stations, if it's television, if it's the, the, about the guy that gets the coffee, like, <clears throat> the guy that does the coffee, or Sarah. the guys yeah, that, that the guys that mix the, mix the concrete, the guys that, that lays the steel, that you know what I'm saying, the um the um the uh, uh, all of that, that lays the yeah. bricks for the building, the guys that makes the clothes, the stitching, and stuff like that. It's like everybody has to have that, whatever it is. You have to you know understand how to. Do what you got to do and uh, contribute to that. Did you have this type of wisdom 22 years ago? Oh, good question. Unfortunately, I did. You did? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was, uh, you know, I did. I was able to do. I only did up to a year in college because halfway through college, I, you know, and I was already rapping. I've considered myself one of the best rappers even back then. 
And then uh, I was kind of like. Uh, you kind of seemed like philosophical. Mm-hmm. We had a yes, good I, conversation the philo- the philosophy, before this. I, but I, it was one of it was my under under. I was um, philosophy. I was a philosophy uh, undergrad uh, economics major. Okay. So the politics and 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 yeah. and um and um and philosophy. Gotcha. That's me. Yeah, yeah. So that's it, it went well with the poet the poetry that I was trying to write back then too, and <laughs> still today. But um yeah, so and uh, and uh, um didn't go back to school because I wanted to pursue greater dreams. It was like it's cool, you know, all the professors, whatever the case may be, was like, Okay, you can do this, you can do that, of course. That's what school is for to find out what you're best at and everything and then I felt that, you know, um I decided to um on, on that uh at, after that first year of summer I decided to instead go back to school. I wanted to pursue my um music career and that's what I did. I pursued my dream, went somewhere, wouldn't take no for an answer and here I am today. And your father, right? Mm-hmm. So Yes I am. Today, what would you be telling your kids this today? Like pursue your dream or yes. do you think education my, my, is important? I, I am the greatest professor that my kids will ever have. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yes, and I tell them that you must be on a roll to, to being uh, career-oriented, whether you like it or not. Mm-hmm. You get there, I don't even want you to ask, for, ask me for my help because I didn't have no help. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not going to be the crutch in your life to make you to, for you to end up lazy as hell or bum somewhere. I'm not going to be that crutch. You know, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, you know, get that shit out your mind mm-hmm. check this out this is how this worked my grandfather instilled in me my father in the military brat right so you either gonna get yourself together out here in the workforce in the field or you're gonna join the military you're gonna help keep this country great because either which way you go still this country is great because of the powerful workforce the powerful people that come here whatever they, you can come here legally of course whatever you you know we can talk about the illegals too they're really trying and because they know freedom is freedom right you feel what i'm saying right so so that we get over here and everything and everybody contributes to what consists of a great nation especially the military so i try to tell my children and i try to teach them to be independent First, God fearing for one. It's like mm. I can hear what you're doing in the next room, dude. This, what's, you know, come to me. It's like okay, you, you know, I just it's like you know, you, you're doing a lot of me, right? I'm so, 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 so. If I can't put the uh, fear of God, you know, if you can't be fear of God, you know, if you can't have the morality enough to not lie to me, understand that that it ain't even about me. God created you. I'm just a procreator. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I try to teach the teach them these concepts and everything to help them to manifest the excellence that they were created to be. Mm. This is my job as a parent. Yeah. And God created all human lives to be free. And fortunately for us here in America, America is the only country that has solved slavery, solved the lack of freedom as a problem, and has worked hard to ratify it. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? The worst war in human history that was ever fought was the Civil War to eradicate slavery. No, pe- no many people has ever died in any one given war except the one that America fought against itself to correct this wrong. Mm-hmm. And we've corrected it. Yeah. This is how great America is. And I make my kids understand this. Or some, the teacher's right, making you write a paper on what? To say that what? what America, what? You should be ashamed of what? No, no, no. You should be expressing the excellence of this country and the fact that we're the only people on earth that creates a, an environment for a human life to fully express his human life, man. That's us. Embrace it. Accept it. Okay? Or get out of this country and go somewhere else. Go to Venezuela. Go to Cuba. Get the F out and mm-hmm. go to Cuba. Get out. Yeah. If you're not going to help this country remain standing strong, mm-hmm. Get the F out. You have no business well, we being can, here. We can tell you're not so, a Democratic. So, 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 <laughs> no. Even Democratic, Republican, it don't matter. You contribute to making this country great. Right. Ideologies are meant to be ideologies. You dig what I'm saying? Compromise is everything. You dig what I'm saying? Which breeds wisdom. You're supposed to have a cabinet. You're supposed to have a, 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 a round table. You're supposed to uh, put ideas out there. You're supposed to apply work. Flat out, yeah. My house get it all day. You God, see what I I'm love saying? the passion you have. I know dude. this you is make great. Me feel like a better person. Just I want to. I want to take you out to bar and like, just good. sit around and talk God. about philosophy all day. This is, this is, I have now, another fun <laughs> question for you. A lot of people want to know: Is it true you're working on Beyonce's new album? Oh, well, well, we would love to work on Beyonce's new album. Her and many other people at that. You know, and this is what Bone Thugs and Harmony is. We trying to like kind of like see who who can we get our hands on and like kind of like help 
tailor some new stuff. Yeah. Right. So it's been speculated and everything. I'm not going to say anything more about it. So yeah, a lot of people ask me, like, oh, ask about the Beyonce album. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 like, it's, it's something, you know, me and the guys. Just see, between me me and the rest of the guys, we, we have our hands in a little bit of everything. Awesome. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, so we have so much going on right now. And, uh, and, uh, and that, that's just one of the things that's been put out in the air. And you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's going to take uh, uh, Jay Z. Not being nervous to let the Beyonce <laughs> kick it in the studio with five crazy ass stuff. Now, uh, what did you think about Dr. Dre's album? His last album, Compton, came out. Right. What did you think about it? Do you listen to it? Um. Yes, indeed, I enjoyed it. And, uh, but I, I, I didn't, I, I, I didn't think it was some of um, Mr. Uh, Andre's uh, best work. work. Yeah, best work. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. I don't, I don't think I, it's like because 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 like for example, he's a producer. Right. He's a writer. Right. And he's a he's a a mega entrepreneur and everything, but um, I think it was something that was half-heartedly put out there because it was even, rushed. It definitely yeah, it was, was rushed. rushed. You know, yeah. and, and even even with the excitement about what, what the detox album could have been, you know, somebody like Dre is really, really gonna let you have it. Yeah, he's gonna let you have it. And I don't felt that he did that. I don't felt that he did that with this project. A great project, nonetheless. But me, it wasn't. As, it wasn't a good Pharrell no album no, for it him. It wasn't to me. It wasn't a good thorough all around Dr. Dre type style album. Right. Look at the chronic for crying out loud. I know. Look at the chronic one and two, man. Come on, man. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I would rather bump those albums than that one. Yeah. Just to be honest with you. So yeah. And um uh, but yeah, nonetheless you can't take away from Dr. Dre the his his excellence in, at doing what he does. But still that one record that's like it was, it was dope and everything. You know, and you know, I really, really wanted to hear a little bit more of him except in, instead of all of the other he just new featured artists. he featured on a lot of tracks basically yes, is what he, he, did. he featured a lot of new yeah. up and coming artists yeah. it's cool but for Dre for his no man I, I, I want to hear Dre I wanted to hear him yeah. Yeah. I agree yeah. alright now some fun questions here yeah what did you think about Key and Peele you know they did a skit mm-hmm. called Bone Thugs and Homeless yes you know I had to run up I ran up you know I, can I, I say the, I don't like them? Can you I don't like Keep Up? Keep Up are great. I, I love when you watch them. Don't, you watch that right now? Those dudes that. are uncut. Hilarious! I love Key and Peele. I can't. That, that, I agree with that, you. I don't that, get into it. Too that much. skit was phenomenal. You know, you know why people? I like either. creativity. That's, <laughs> this is yeah. what I'm saying. The 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 humor that Key and Peele um can, uh, provides to the world is is, is amazing. You might not. You might not. They like, touch on they, sensitive they can, they topics. They can be so sensitive. Yeah, of yeah. course it's supposed to. Yeah, it's comedy. Comedy is no rules. You know, right. no bars holding comedy. Trust me, that's why they did Bone Thugs and Homeless. Right. But I still ran up on them <laughs> when when they were shooting a skit at the hotel out there in uh, San Luis Obispo, California. They had the whole that they were at a hotel that I was happened to be staying at. And I was, and um, I was like, you know, <clears throat> I walked up on the producer. I was like, what's going on here? Oh, Key and Peele. I was like, oh, I'm Flesh and Bone, Bone, Dugs and Harmony. I would love to meet them. And they invited me in and everything. And oh, I had how to, cool. You know, I had to get them mean. I was like, yo, man, that skit y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all know that skit y'all, y'all long, man. My name. And I was like, great job. Great job. Was just like, now, uh, it, was, it was amazing, though. I really loved it, though. On that top, have you ever, ever like, had a guy that didn't show up or whatever, had something happen to where they couldn't make it to the concert or something? That's, all, that's can, the life of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Can I, can you, do you have, like, a backup bone? Like, could I audition yeah, to be a backup bone? Back I would yeah. like to be Funny Bone Did because Funny Bone, bone <laughs> you know, it's suppo- you're supposed to like Funny Bone, right? Yeah. But, yeah. When you hit it, it, it you don't like it. It hurts. Right. So that's what exactly. I feel like. That's me. Yeah, yeah, and then Chrissy got in on this. She wants to be on this. She wants to be femur bone. Femur, femur yeah. bone. Uh, femur you gave bone, me that huh? one. Yeah. I was just going to be Chris. So I figured we do uh, an American. Chrissy and I, I are going to do a duet, and okay. you tell us if we're good right. enough to be on stage with Bone Thugs and Harmony. All right, come on. All right, ready, Wait. ready, Chrissy. Are we going to do the song though? Yeah. All right. I'm we didn't practice this at all, so this is going to be <laughs> terrible. I apologize. I'm so embarrassed. Here we are in front of a legend, and this is what's happening. Here we go. I'm All doing, right, Chris, I'm you ready? country. Uh, mm. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no, wait. I thought you were going to do the song. We're going to do... Oh, we're actually going to... Okay. You're off tune. All right. We tried this we'll just already. Do this. Wake up. Wake, wake up, up. Wake up. It's the first, first of the month. Hey. I can't. I don't think I can do it. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I just be your hype man. Maybe yeah. I just be up there. Yeah. yeah. No, he was over here earlier okay. going... Bum, 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 I, could, bum, I could just go up bum. on stage and just be like... like, no, please don't do that. I don't have a problem with rap. <laughs> and I don't have a problem with rapper. Okay. I can just do that. I can just go up and say, be a hype man. Yeah, that, that'll work. Hype man. I, think, I think hype man I'm for hire. suitable. I'm for hire. Yes, oh indeed. God. Just get with your people. They have my contact information. Yes, indeed. All right, yes, so there's rumor that there's a final album coming out. Is that true? No, it's not. It's not true. Okay. Mm-hmm. There'll never be a final album as long as awesome. one bone member is alive. Good. Thank you.
Mm-hmm. Because there go. was a rumor mm-hmm. that I heard there was one final album that wasn't mm-hmm. going to be released to the public because they were going to sell it on eBay for like a million dollars or something. Their starting bid was a million dollars. Yeah, sometimes we like to create drama. Yeah. No, but it's okay. No, it's not. I like that idea, listen, though. Listen, listen, listen. We, as long as we're alive, will never stop being created in the realm of uh, producing music. So um, even if we say, uh, you know, some, as, as a marketing tool, oh, this is my last. No, it's not going to be the last album. I'm, I'm telling you what it is. Right. No, no. And we're currently working on new music and everything right now. We're ready to try to slam out a, a couple of more singles going into 2016. As we push on a touring um, touring mission, we're going to try to drop a couple of new singles, videos, new cipher. Of course, gearing up for the Bone Thugs and Harmony movie. And, oh, uh, which cool. is oh my goodness! Uh, a which, Bone Thugs and yeah. Harmony movie. Do you mm-hmm. need a? Do you need like a Arab looking Mexican and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, a white girl? I'm not white. I'm Lebanese. Thank I'm you. I'm sorry, but... Lebanese. Oh, okay. Get it right. Okay. Lebanese. Um, air quotes. I am a SAG. I'm an actress. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> if you need yes. me to twerk Excuse me? it in yeah. a video, a twerk it. Of course, like music video. <laughs> she didn't even show up for twerk's giving, but she'll go twerk <laughs> it on a. You didn't show Actually, up for twerk's giving. Actually, I won't. I won't twerk anything because I'm a lady of the Lord. But yes, even ladies of the Lord. No, 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 no. Oh, they're not twerking. You never heard, you never heard twerking in church? And, did you, you know, never heard that? Did you know the, la- the oh, ladies Lord. in the Lord really know how to twerk it because it's... it's no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying because it's like men of the Lord, <laughs> men of the Lord are going to bring it to you. Yeah. You, you, oh, you know my what I'm goodness. Saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So ladies of the Let Lord... Let me go look that up in Scripture. Ladies of the Lord, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you something. Love is powerful. When you have God, you, 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 you bring in the business. Right. Trust me, you are. This is the gospel that we need... To yeah, everybody needs to read. You powerful love, especially when you're committed. When you're in a committed relationship. Oh yeah. When those doors close, firecrackers go off. I mean, all <laughs> all, all 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 cannons let loose. Right. <laughs> so you're not gonna sit up there and right. tell me as a lady of the Lord, especially <laughs> so okay, funny. so cool. When you're in a committed relationship, you are gonna be twerking. Trust right. me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what we do right here. <laughs> all right, let's get down. I never get tired. Of that song, <laughs> I don't either. Let me never. jump on it. All right, so. Let's get Maybe. down to the real uh, serious questions here. Sure. Uh, what would you think about Holly Holm knocking out Ronda Rousey? Did uh, you watch that? She's a uh, uh, and Holly Holmes is a great fighter, and then uh, a I fantastic know, fighter. And, and then uh, sometimes you know, um, 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 what's the um, lady that got um, knocked out again? I'm sorry, Ronda. Rousey. Ronda. Yeah. So so Ronda, you know, seems like she had a little bit too much to drink the night before. <laughs> <laughs> you she know. just knew she was going to win. She 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 just felt a little bit too comfortable. Do you think that was a little bit of like what she needed, like a little bit of like a humble pie? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I think, and, and, and everybody gets it one way or the other. Humble, yeah, this, it, you know, this is the mystery. Pride goes before I, the fall, I, I, right? Yeah, yeah, indeed. So, so yes, it was. It's one of those things, and nonetheless, you know, of course, we can all expect a, a, a rematch. Of course, they're sure. going to try to put together a rematch and everything. But first, you got to make sure Ronda's okay because she got. Pretty she, hard. she got beat up. You know, she got she destroyed. Got, yeah, she got. Yeah, I felt really, really <laughs> like that video is actually funny to watch. I know. Yeah, yeah. God yeah. forgive me, but I find so, it funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah was, you uh, of, you know, this, of uh, doping. Yeah, yeah and, uh, so so oh, it was wow. a, it was a situation. I think she really really felt um, got a little bit too lackadaisical. Probably yeah. didn't train too hard. Um, going meet. She got too ahead of herself. Yeah, got too ahead of herself. Ran in, ran in, and ran into a bull. Yeah, she ran into a bull. Every time I brag about something, I always fall. I remember yeah. I, I told my, in the neighborhood, mm-hmm. I was telling the, the kids in the neighborhood, I can ride this bike better than anybody, <laughs> and then I fell and smashed my face mm-hmm. open. So. It happened, <laughs> it happened, it happened, happened once, too. It happened, yeah. it happened I fell sometime. off the bike. Yeah. It was yeah. horrible. Did, did yeah. those girls scare you? Oh, uh, fighters? Well, like, if they what? were like, if they ran up on you... I would, would I would bite the <laughs> shit. I would I would take my Dracula teeth and sink oh it in goodness. one of their necks. <laughs> well, you know what's so funny? I, I always hear like people like with Floyd Mayweather. They're like, oh man, if he was a stri- if he brought it to a the stripper? streets, oh. no, if he brought it to the streets, like he'd get knocked out. No, and so if I wonder he brought it to if the streets, people... he'd be an even more dangerous fighter. Yeah. You think yeah. so? Yeah. Okay. yeah. When there's you no got rules. The, yeah. When you got the gloves on in the ring, just just nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Those boxers, those trained fighters are trained killers. Trust me. Now yeah. they can do something to you. They can do something to you with their bare hands that you wouldn't even see coming. <laughs> they, and they're not allowed to do that in the ring. UFC fighters is vicious, and that's the roughest it get when it comes to legal a cage or a ring boxing. But those dudes is trained like that for a reason. Yeah, dude, then you're not Did gonna run up on no, 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 no. Who, um, um, None of these dudes talking about uh, take it to the streets because they where you ain't no bell ringing ding ding ding. Didn't, ding. Yep. Didn't no ref, no ref. Didn't Fifty want to fight Floyd Mayweather or something like that? 
Uh, well, not too long ago. Uh, I think, well, I think that was well like a... before you had you had uh, Kimbo Slice show up in the UFC, mm-hmm. and he was nothing but a street YouTube street fighter. Right. That's where they got him from. Is right. Kimbo really? I didn't know that. Thirty seconds. Oh. He got nailed right below the eye. Right. And I like went that down name. Thirty seconds later. Right. Kimbo Slice. Kimbo. And he's the size yeah. of a truck. A truck. You know? Um. Yeah. Yes. I got a random question. Yeah, go Uh-oh. ahead. This is a random hey, question. The time. other day, um, yes. I saw a video of Michael Jackson, and yeah. they're trying to tell him, you know, say you like touring and stuff. He's like, but I hate touring, and it kind of <laughs> yeah. like blew me away. How do you feel about touring? I yeah, love, good question. I love touring. I love it because one of the one of the um, 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 benefits of touring for us is the one of the only times that I get to spend with my brothers for one. You know, mm-hmm. Of That's course, cool. we we locked up. Our, our wives keep us locked up, like. You know, so we can't. Yeah. Let you get away. So we're yeah. like, okay, get out this house in about two days. <laughs> Keep this shit up. All right. It. So yeah, it's a blessing to get out the house and spend time <laughs> with my brothers. Go over our format. Go over our plan. Go over our business. We do a lot of phone talks, and of course, like that. But when we get to get out on the road, it's real serious. We it try sounds to have a, like fun. It, it 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 can be fun. It can be fun, and uh and uh and uh, it's just being being able to uh, steal, um concerts 22 years plus later that that's you know incredible isn't it? that you know all it takes is single here single here single here and next you know it's going to be 25 years and this is why we take care of ourselves we work out we yeah work out you look great regiments look great try to try to take it you know, i try to i feel like everything know, I, I grew up loving is hitting the 20 year mark yeah. it's so crazy yeah it probably yeah. is it's yeah. random i know this yeah. is random but like the spice girls and backstreet boys are about yeah. to do a world tour together and it's yeah. like 20 some years later right Motley wow just did theirs. will smith right. and crazy? Uh, jesse smith jeff is coming back I'm, right. this is incredible yes did you yeah. guys know that you're uh about.com okay has no. has ranked you number twelve, okay, in the list of twenty five best rap groups of all time. Wow, that's Do you know good. that number twelve. I think it's higher I mean, than that, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, yeah, who goes about dot com? That's just like the same way the um, Rolling Stones had their own opinion about the uh, the top uh, top ten twenty five uh, uh, singles of yep. all time, and yep. didn't make not one mention of Bone Thugs and Harmony, Crossroads, For the Love and Money, Two. Uh, a thug loving any of those things. So, when it comes to these outlets and their humble opinion on what music is, sometimes uh, they don't do justice and everything like that. It's okay. Whatever numbers they got is fine. It doesn't matter. You know where you're at. In your heart, yeah. you know. You who know. You are. Yes, indeed, indeed. All right. So, what do you think about Donald Trump? <laughs> I love Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald, huge. He's a huge, yeah, huge. Donald, yeah. Donald Trump. Donald Trump has a vision. That's just like you know. And, um, and I think uh, Ted Cruz has a vision. I think uh, uh, Carly Fioroni has a vision. I like her. I think uh, uh, Ben Carson. Uh, uh, did I say Ben Carson? But I, I think I think there are a few um, uh, uh, Republicans that have very very ground breaking um, um, policies that will and can work, mm-hmm. does work, and we have to be able to figure out how. We need something different. We de- we definitely see see America needs to leave. This uh, whole situation alone where you have these socialist concepts that never has worked for one. Right. And the fact that we're still trying to implement a whole lot of socialism is ridiculous. You dig what I'm saying? So, for one, I love Ted Cruz for the fact that he says abolish the IRS. Who who out here, which one are you stupid enough to want to keep giving all of your money to the IRS? You stupid. You're that stupid. Get rid of the IRS, man. We don't need them. One base tax, 10 to 15 percent. That's all you need. Everybody that needs to be on government assistance shall be getting everything that they need. That doesn't mean we're not going to take care of our old and our needy. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, we do need to. If you're a country, you have to surround that country with borders or else you are not a country. Doesn't mean people can't come here and contribute, not suck it like a leech. Right. You dig what I'm saying? You right. have to, you can't go running up in Canada talking about gimme welfare. You can't go to Australia talking and, and be a bum. We don't want bums. Right. We want people that has ideas. We want people that's going to contribute, making the society greater. Right. But like I said, everybody ain't strong and capable. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, if, if, if whatever the case may be, you know, you know, everybody to a certain degree contributes one way or the other. So we have to be able to attach ourselves to, first of all, you can say that you're liberal. You can say that you're conservative and everything, but, you know, it is what it is. But I don't care what you claim. Think about this. Do you really want the government so massive to where it controls every aspect of your life? Then you're not liberal. Do you like the freedom that you have to drive the women, you you liberal women, 
Do you love, love the liberty of being able to go to the grocery store and shop without the permission of your husband? You're not liberal. It's like you say that you are, but do you really like the freedom that you enjoy? Then you're not liberal. You need to be running for president. Maybe we Wait, might. We'll do that. Maybe Bone we Thugs might. 2016. That's my what wife, I said. My wife keep telling me you better get your ass up in that Senate. <laughs> you can be the Senate. That's you know, go back to Keelan telling, Peel. That's what my wife keep telling me. You know how they have Barack Obama's uh, Barack Obama, his uh, anger <laughs> yeah. translator. Yeah, yeah. I'll you could be, be you could be Donald Trump's but, angry translator. But this, is, this is something to be passionate about because it this is. is a yes. serious time right now. It really we is. We need somebody that can be able to understand what it is to be able to maintain this country. Yes, and make it great. It's a, it's make America great again is a great slogan, but America will always be great. Because like I said, there's no country like America, for one. One mm. of the, the virtues that we have is that we saw the problem of slavery and stuff of that nature, and we eradicated it. Yes. All of the stuff that's going on in the urban communities and everything with the police and everything, the police have a job of doing everything. The parents need to look in the mirror. You mm -hmm. understand? When you let your child go out of the house, you better be, understand them. The, the authorities, you obey those who are in thor the, the authority figures you, as yeah. long as they're not be, be, uh, bidding you to break and commit laws. Right. Mm -hmm. Go against your creator and all of that other stuff. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so yes, you got to be able to mind yourself and all this stuff that's going on about, you know, the, the police. Again, the police ain't against nobody. My wife was a detective. Oh, wow. You dig what I'm saying? Wow. And she had to be able to go out there, solve a crime. When somebody kicked down some old grandmama's door and everybody there, you're going to need the assistance of the authorities to be able to yes. ascertain who did it and then uh, 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 make an arrest. Right. You dig what I'm saying? We need them. And then it's like in our urban communities, no one's held responsible or none of them are accountable. And they running around like ravenous hyenas. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? If the police pull you over, you never know. You might have got stopped for going five miles over the speed limit, but you might have got smashed by a truck because you wasn't paying attention, and you got stopped by the grace of God. The cop stopped you, but you want to cuss his ass, cuss right. him out because he stopped you. You're exactly right. You see what I'm saying? It's it's a whole lot going on where you need to be able to understand how to gain control of your community. You dig what I'm saying? All lives matters. Yes. All lives matters. You mean to tell me when... These youngsters are out here acting like assholes and everything. They're not supposed to get checked. All lives matter. Black lives matter. Come see me because all lives matter. It ain't about you. you all this what's going on, man. All lives matter. All of them. Everybody's responsible for what you do. You're held accountable for what you do, man. Gotta love this flat, guy. Mm -hmm. Flat out. You need, to make for you. YouTube, you need to make YouTube videos. <laughs> you make yes. YouTube videos. <laughs> yes. Wait, tell the world what you feel. Flesh on YouTube videos. All, All right. YouTube videos. We got to wrap this up. We, we... Hold on. Wait. I got one second. All one right. question. And this is an important question because I know that you're all about kids and you're all about politics and stuff like that. Do you think the lyrics that these kids are listening to with all the gangster rap and all this stuff, do you think that that plays into a part of why mm -hmm. they're acting this way? Well, sometimes, yes, it does. But it all depends, like, how you tastefully color. Like, the Bone Thugs and Harmony is more gangster than we are um, Harmony and um, well, I like um, this. stuff I of that like nature. This. You I dig like what this. I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it all depends. And it's, it's a level of responsibility. Responsibility and accountability goes with everything. What if, what Everything. If, what if, so so, and it's up to the parent. You dig what I'm saying? It's up to the parent to instill in that boy or that girl self-respect and a sense of morality. Without it, you have what's going on in 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 in, in all of the urban cities and all of this other stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you got yeah, for to, sure. It, you know, it, it, and, and 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 yes, we need to be able to keep this country standing as this shining beacon on earth because without it. Tyranny is running rampant right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have the Constitution, you have the Bill of Rights, you have freedom of religion, you have freedom of press, you have the right to bear arms, you have freedom of, uh, 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 of private property. Who wants to relinquish that? Which one of you truly wants to relinquish that? Obama's not going to relinquish his private property rights. So why push the communistic, socialistic manifesto? That's a good question. All right. Well, we got to wrap it up. Question. I'm going to tell you one thing real quick before I go. Thank you so much for coming in, first yes. off. I have an uncle, right? Or he, I had an uncle. He, he passed away. One of my favorite memories of him when I was a little kid, we were in his car. It was when I just discovered rap. I was, you know, maybe five or six years old. And he put in an album. And I'm like, what is this album? 
It was Bone Thugs and Harmony. And that's one of my fondest memories okay. of it. Just hanging out with my Uncle Lisa. So to have wow. you here Thank is, you, is a great honor for me. It's an honor Thank to you have. so much. Thank you. I think a legend. Much. A living legend right I'll here in the it. studio. Thank you guys for having me. Flesh and Bone in the Flesh yes, in sir. studio. Thanks guys for having me, man. We look forward to new singles. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. My pleasure. MZ Now, online at mznow.tv.